Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Um, I know it's been a little while since my last one, but I was extremely busy and couldn't get an upload last weekend. So I'm gonna post one that's a little bit late, about a week late. Anyways, I wanted to do a little tutorial on what you should upgrade uh, going to a new town hall, specifically town hall 12, but most of the rules apply for the majority of town halls. So this is a 2023 upgrade guide and I just wanted to show you some of the things that personally I find work really well when upgrading your town hall. So we're gonna go on to this progress base here which has a couple trees that have grown but uh, so this is kind of the order uh, I'm going for kind of as a reference to upgrade my town hall 12 base over here on the side we've got the things done that have already been upgraded obviously other than the walls but um, I just used a hammer and uh, a book of building on the clan castle there. Um, so this is usually the order you'll go for with most town halls. Um, I like to upgrade my Giga Tesla relatively quick at town hall 12 just because then you get that mega bomb or giga bomb, whatever it's called at the end of it because that can be super helpful in defeating hybrid balloons and that sort of stuff. Um, also, making sure my clan castle is up so I can hold that extra 5 troop capacity is super helpful. And those cakes are annoying. Um, and I like to I like to get my workshop up just because, you know, being a town hall that couldn't produce seed machines and always had to request them, it's nice to be able to cook them on your own. Um, so that's just one of my goals. I like to get that uh, maxed relatively quick. I find the blimp is pretty helpful. In particular especially using like um i guess in lava loon that sort of a thing or, or even just super archer blimp which is becoming very popular right now um so going back to the regular base here um we can see i've done a couple walls already but that's just because i maxed them at tunnel 11 so it was you just start doing them pretty quick um uh, I like to get my lab up. That's kind of my number one thing. There, that's what's going to take the longest. If you don't know that, the laboratory at each town hall is the thing that takes the most amount of time to upgrade or max. So, making sure you have your lab going up straight away, number one priority. Definitely need to make sure that's happening. Um, as you can see, I'm working on maxing my hybrid because it's still super good at town hall 12. Um, I like to upgrade my eagle just because it costs a lot and I can use a hammer on it. You can use a hammer on the clan castle as well. Now that it's elixir, it could be more value there. Um, but they both take a roughly the same amount of time and are relatively similar in cost. Um, so that's those are the two things you'll probably get the most value out of using a hammer on a hammer building. And like I said, uh, trying to get that town on 12 to level five, just so you get the bomb at the end of it. You won't get that at any of the other levels which means it's unless you're going straight to level five, it's really not worth prioritizing upgrading the town hall all that much, in my opinion at least. Really what you really want to be focusing on when you go up a town hall, uh, and this is applicable to town hall 12 too, is just focusing on your offense more than your defense. So that means upgrading our army camps. Um, as we can see, I've already got three of the four done. Um, and that's just because that's really what's going to be a big differentiating factor between you as a Town Hall 12 and a Town Hall 11. That and the laboratory. Luckily, we don't have to upgrade our spell factories all that much. Uh, I think they're maxed for that part. Um, barracks is. Personally, I'm not in a super big rush to grab the Yeti, but some people may find that that's kind of their troop. The Headhunter, on the other hand, is much more... Uh, well-rounded for a lot of attack strategies just you know take out things and it works really well with hybrid so that'll be one of the things I'm saving up for probably my next upgrade will be this um, but I've been at Town Hall 12 for about a month now um, and you can see kind of where I'm at a little less than a month I've been playing on and off so not a lot but that just shows how much you can get done in about a month and probably in another month I'll have a relatively maxed offense other than my heroes and attacking will become much easier again and i'll be able to three star most max tunnel 12s um and and a lot of that is just finding the right strategy which i really like hybrid at tunnel 11 and 12. i'll make sure to create a video for that about that for you guys um because it does also do super well at tunnel 12. um 
Uh, like I said, workshop, that's helpful if you maybe don't have a clan that donates siege machines as often, or you're just really active and you don't have people online a whole lot and you just need siege machines consistently. Uh, I prefer to upgrade my expos over Inferno Towers first. Um, and that's kind of a preference thing. That's just what I've done over the years of playing Clash of Clans. Um, you can do your Infernos first if you want. Um, really, again, it's just not that big a deal. On the defenses, it's mainly preference. As long as you're not going for Archer Towers and Cannons or Mortars straight away. Um, air Defenses are another really good one to upgrade um, before your Wizard Towers, Archer Towers, Cannons, Mortars, just because everybody uses Electro Dragons. And if you have a good base, it should already do quite well against Electro Dragons. But if you have your air defenses upgraded pretty quick after going up a new town hall, then you'll do even better on defense. Um, heroes, I like to do my queen first, obviously. Um, she's kind of probably the best hero. I don't think there's a whole lot of questioning that. Um, but keep in mind, uh, you do have 20 levels to go through on the Grand Warden to max. The queen and the king are 15, so a little bit less there. Um, but, you know, the king will probably be the last hero you do. I like to usually save one builder just to have constantly going on my heroes. Um, and that way I can have maxed heroes before I'm almost on my town hall and I can actually enjoy different attack strategies. Um, instead of maxing my heroes at the very end of it, which a lot of people tend to do. And then they kind of are like, eh, I don't want to stay at this town hall. And it just, just doesn't make the game as enjoyable, I find at least. So make sure to max your heroes out nice and quick, leave a builder for it, um, and you won't regret it, that's for sure. Hopefully this was helpful for newer players who don't know what to do, and more seasoned players, maybe this will give you guys a new perspective on somebody else who's played the game for a little while, and that's what they use. So I'll make sure to put out a video using this uh, hybrid strategy, 10 out 12, next weekend. Um, and trust me, that'll be a must watch but other than that, um, don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, I'll do my best to keep the content coming. And I will see you guys in the next one.